The pole shift is happening. Earth's magnetic field is getting weaker and weaker. Hello, welcome to our channel. Did you know that nowadays it doesn't surprise anyone that land masses are actually able to change and move to some extent? Let's remember Pangaea. It was a continent that existed almost 3 million years ago that split into North America, South America, Africa, and Europe. And humans have nothing to do with that. The Earth simply separated and formed into separate continents we know today. But how are these changes happening? And what can we expect from such drastic changes? Every area of science has had at least one mystery that seemed impossible to solve. For example, why do ice ages occur? Why is North magnetic and moving at over 40 miles per year towards Russia? Why do old maps of Antarctica show features that are under the ice long before the continent was found in 1820? If you want to know this and much more, I invite you to join us today. So, make yourself comfortable and let's get started. Tens of thousands of years Pole shifts are global disasters that occur when the entire outer crust of the Earth moves all at once, like a chocolate around a cherry. The layers of liquid rock beneath the area near the North and South Poles move thousands of miles towards the equator, which, of course, causes the polar ice caps to melt in warmer latitudes. While areas near the equator move away from tropics and into colder climates, some places that used to be warm, like the New Poles, where they freeze suddenly, they will soon be covered by new ice caps as the land near the equator moves. Thus, the bulge of the equator too sinks below sea level at the same time that land that used to be underwater rises to the surface. For the first time in a long time, the changes in latitude and altitude are big enough to be mistaken for the apocalypse, as they are accompanied by earthquakes and tsunamis that can take place age civilizations back to the Stone Age. And this is not just a crazy idea formed in a history class. Electrical engineers and naval admirals have written books about polar ships. Albert Einstein even wrote the foreword to a book that talked about how mass imbalances causes the Earth's crust to move over the rest of the Earth's body, and this will move the polar regions towards the equator. Isaac Newton said that the imbalance of mass like this would cause the poles to move around the globe because mass would always try to move away from the center of its motion. Since then, dozens of scientists have found evidence that pole shifts have happened before and will happen again. Professor Charles Habgood was one of the best known people to come up with the idea of the pole shift, even though he wrote several books on the subject, including the change of the Earth's crust in the maps of ancient sea kings and the path of the pole. He was constantly changing his mind and making statements that seemed to contradict one another. When it came to saying how fast a pole shift would be catastrophic, in his book, Pole Route, he talks about Ernest Deutsch's book, Polar Wanderer and Continental Drift, in which Deutsch argues that pole shifts occur very slowly, and then talks about how Deutsch found evidence in Scotland of a crustal shift occurring in several orders of magnitude that would be faster than he thought. A brief pause. If you made it this far and you're liking our content, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our new videos. Now, let's get on with the video. At some point, Hapgood stopped being careful and started taking risks, as he used to work for the Office of Strategic Services, which was the predecessor of the CIA. He should have known better in 1982. Hapgood wrote a letter when the Skyfall co-author ran to Flemeth about a new book he was working on. In the letter, Hapgood talked about how the new book would have new and exciting material that went far beyond the guarded commentary in his previous book. Flemeth, who had a solid evidence of a whole cycle of civilization in both America and Antarctica that pointed to high levels of science. Well, he might have found evidence that the government did not want made public because he was hit by a car and died before he could publish his new work. Whether this was just bad luck or planned is not something we will ever find out. Surprisingly, he's not the only one who believed the pole shift would occur. The magnetic field allows us to be hit by more high energy particles from other parts of the universe called cosmic incursions. When this happens, more and more atoms in our atmosphere, such as nitrogen and oxygen, are hit by cosmic rays, which are called cosmogenic isotopes, fall to the surface. By looking at how many of these are in the cause, we can find out when the polarity changed. It sounds simpler than it really is. 4,000 years ago, there was a change. Since the field almost flipped the other way 15 times, this is called an excursion, and it happens when the field strength drops a lot, but does not reach the threshold it should reach before going back up. When the field starts to weaken and then strengthen again, this is when we are at greatest risk. The last excursion happened almost 40,000 years ago, and there are signs that we are on our way to experience it once again. Dr. Thoveny said, 
The geomagnetic field has lost 30% of its strength in the last 3,000 years. Yes, that's not good according to this number. His team believes that it will drop to almost zero in a few hundred to a thousand years. And for those of you who want more evidence, we already see how a weakened magnetic field is affecting our satellites in space, between South America and Africa. In the Atlantic Ocean, there is a large area where the Earth's magnetic field is about three times weaker than at the poles. This has been called the South Atlantic SAA anomaly, and Professor Chris Finley of the Technical University of Denmark, DTU, near Copenhagen, this project is trying to find out what is causing the SAA by using data from several satellites, such as the three swarm satellites launched by the European Space Agency in 2013. Professor Finley knows that this area is where satellites often have problems with their electronics, and they don't know where the weak field area is from, what is causing it, or how it might change in the future. Scientists first noticed the SAA in the 1950s. Since then, it moved further west and lost another 6% of its strength. Professor Finley and his team cannot yet offer a satisfactory explanation for this. He also said that scientists have not been able to predict how it will change later, whether the Corsair project wants to change all that by studying the magnetic field. So by far investigating the SAA, the team hopes to find out what might be happening inside the Earth's core to cause it. One possibility is that there is a large movement in the southern part of the Earth's liquid metal outer core, which could be pushing the magnetic field away from the South Atlantic region. Another possibility is that the magnetic field in this area is pointing in the wrong direction, which would be like a small change in polarity. The SAA gives us a direct look at how a weaker magnetic field can affect satellites. Many spacecraft have reported electronic problems flying over this area because cosmic rays hit them. It is not yet clear if the SAA has anything to do with the reversal of the Earth's magnetic field, field in which Professor Finley and his team will also investigate. He said that in some simulations they can see things like the growth of SAA. It would not be surprising if something like that was involved in a magnetic reversal. Even so, SAA could give us a clue as to what will happen in the near future if things continue as they are. The Earth's magnetic field could change again in a thousand or two thousand years before the field can continue to get worse and we could be in big trouble in a hundred years. Dr. Dr. Thoveny added that the decrease in geomagnetic field is much more important and dramatic than the reversal of the pulse. He is sure that it is very important to know if the current field will vanish in the next hundred years because we will have to prepare. Even if we are prepared, that doesn't make us feel any better, does it? Anyway, we have reached the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Leave us your opinion in the comment box so we know what you think.